Hello everybody and welcome back to Pumpkin Days. Now, I seem to remember last time. Let's just water this tree. This tree um, I'm slightly concerned of because it is a sapling and it is wilted. And I'm trying to take care of it and see if I can bring it back. If not, I may have to replant something in its space. Everything else seems pretty good without watering though, so I'm going to only water the ones that look like this, seemingly. They seem to be the ones to get. Right, so let's put away the watering can. See, I have started using my P key for my watering can. I know how that sounded. Doesn't help the fact it's a watering can either. Yes, I know. these so as long as you can see the hand you can click on it and harvest it basically so I was like moving around all over the place do the harvesting no you don't need to do that you just need to do this if anyone does know a way to harvest more than one thing at once do let me know in the comments I haven't I've been trying to keep an eye on the comments and, and try and use any advice that has been given but I haven't seen anything about that so far so I'm going to assume at the moment that there is no way to, to sort that out. Now, is there anything else that I would like to plant today? So far over here, I have my mushrooms. I mean, I should probably water everything as well. And I've got a couple of bits that I've forgotten what they are again. But I will find out when they grow and it'll be a massive surprise. I think this entire field here is patarots. So I need to be very careful of that one. I'm trying to keep things like more separated now. So I've got like my patarot field, got my mushrooms and I've got whatever I planted there. But over there, I'm, I'm keeping this all to be flowers. I don't know what that is. Find out soon. Um, I had my watermelons harvested last time, didn't I? It's the 21st of summer. I don't know. I don't know how long these pineapples are going to take. It's supposed to have taken 20 days, and I think I planted them, like, really close towards the beginning, so we'll see. People, I think someone was saying to me that pineapples in real life grow one at a time, or, or on a tree, oh, I don't know. I can't remember. Love you, Trist Fallen! And someone was saying, I think Tristfallen's a girl. The reason I sometimes say he for Tristfallen is because real life Tristfallen is a he. That's why, okay? Yes, I know. I'm basically replying to my comments in the video because that is how little time I have right now. Real Legend is coming out tomorrow as well. And all the games, and all the games, and all the games. Sorry, Maple. I'll put the brush away. Too, too many games. It gets towards this time of year, like July and August. Never any games. Never any games at all. So if you want YouTubers to pick up your games, you know, release them in July and August. They'll be desperate for games to play, right? Comes up towards this Christmas time, September, the kids go back to school. Wow, look at all these eggs. They must really love me. I did a really good job of petting them and stuff yesterday. So maybe you get like maximum yield of two if you pet and brush and everything. So I need to just make sure every day that I'm doing that because that'll get, make me a lot more money. Yeah, Tristful and loves me. I don't really care about the townsfolk at the moment. I don't think having good uh, standing with the townsfolk matters. But what I do need to do is take things to the library, the, the li sorry, the museum that it might want to, to have, and flowers are good for that. How's the honey going? Wow. I get the impression I might be doing something wrong with this. I'm not entirely sure what. If anyone knows, let me know. Okay, let's see what I've got in the way of like things to plant and stuff like that. It will be fall soon and there's I'm already collecting a few kind of fall seeds, which is fantastic. I'm wondering whether I should do another... I kind of did, had decided against it though. I really had decided against doing a ton of stuff because what I want to do is to have things of high yield rather than have... <sighs> okay. Yeah, I want to have things of high yield. And the reason I, so I'll have an entire thing of lentils and the reason I want to do an entire thing of lentils and it'll have its own little plot here next to the patarots 
And the reason for that is that I can make lentil soup out of that and it grows, it's 50 a piece. So that to me is worth my time. Whereas selling them for like two each, not worth my time at all. There we are. So these lentils are gonna get ploughed back in. Oh, did I just harvest them already? Yes, I did. So I'm gonna plough them back in. I'm gonna need 36 of them. So you can do 20 of them and I will do 16 of them. We'll see who wins. I win. Really? You only made like six in that whole time? You kidding me? Give them back, I'll do them. <laughs> uh, in the meantime though, is there anything that I want to make into seeds myself? I don't think so. Make the eggs into a seed. No, I don't think you can do that. I tried to, to boil an egg, it didn't work very well though. got 36 of them and then what I want to do is to use some of my salt and make lentil soups out of the rest and I'll sell some and I'll keep some um. I think the green ones are the ones I made up and the rest are the ones I found on the TV that's cool that it, it differentiates. So I have 36 salt and 44 lentils. I have more salt than that. I've got stacks of this stuff. There they are, 44 of them. Wonderful. And they're worth 50 a piece as well. So that's worth several thousand. I'll keep that stack of four and I'll sell the two stacks of 20 and then we'll plant some more lentils. And then we'll go to the mine and get some more salt. What's some watermelon seeds? How long do they take to grow? Six days. Oh, I've got long enough actually, yeah. That's fine. I'll plant those in and that. I've got a little spare bit for them. So, 50 times 2 is 100. If, so 50 times 20 is 1,000. So each stack of lentil soups is 1,000 gold each. So that's kind of worth it, right? These chamomile teas, they're worth 20 each. They're not worth they're not worth very much. Okay, next thing I want to do. My fruits are still not growing. I'm very disappointed. I'm going to go out and watch my TV and see if we get any good recipes. Then I need to go and try and see about barley. Oh, honeydew juice. That's good because I have honeydew uh, melons coming soon. Do not give to your significant other or they will never stop asking you to do things. I will heed your advice. More furniture. Furniture's boring, I want tools, I don't need no furniture. Unless it's suddenly really useful. But yeah, I'm not seeing any of these trees with any fruit on them yet. That sucks. Everything is watered. And the only thing that I want to do now is to plant these watermelon seeds. Um, I made cantaloupe and zucchini seeds and things. Uh, these guys, oh yeah, I was going to make all of those into seeds actually. So we're going to have a 3x3 three three of zucchinis come the fall. And then also cantaloupes. I just bought one of those, so what I can do is uh, multiply them up. 
and then I plant my lentil seeds. I plant my lentil seeds and my watermelon seeds. I know a lot of planting this episode. A lot of planting. If there is somehow some, oh, am I not allowed to plant them next to the mushrooms or something? Because that will irritate. Oh, that will irritate the heck out of me. Okay. So things can be planted to the side of the mushrooms, but they cannot be planted to the edge of the mushrooms there. I will just plant. Oh, I don't even know what to do. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? Over here, this plot is getting constantly watered. So I will just put those in there. They're only going to be for another few days until the end of the season anyway. It's fine. We're going to be into the fall season pretty soon. So I want lots of lentils growing because they grow all year, including winter, apparently. All year in seven days. So I can just live off lentil soup all winter. True facts. I imagine it's the same as soybeans. Potatoes, I think, are the same as well. If I make a potato seed here, I'll show you. Goes all year in three days. So potatoes and lentils, I should be able to grow in the winter time, which is useful. I'm just gonna plant these the same way I do my shopping. Randomly as humanly possible. one of these chamomile teas would be good. We've had a hard day today already and all we've been doing is planting. Like I say, this will keep us going long into the winter. Well, actually it won't. I'll have to replant the whole thing, but it's fine. leftover tarot seeds. I'll pop them in my chest, I guess. But we also have some camellia seeds to plant. Um, I need to start eating the lentil soup as well. Good grief. Oh, that's better. But it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry, guys. It's fine. I will have many lentils. Many, many lentils. And then I've got to go on a quest. A super secret quest. And that super secret quest is going to be to go and get barley. I may have to see if I can get another golden watering can. I don't know how to make them. Mine's running out. We may actually have to go and buy that off Clara. I don't have the money for it either. Well, that might have to happen uh, tomorrow, maybe, then, if I have enough money then. Or if I can get enough gold pieces. I... Do you know what I could maybe do? I could maybe take all of my iron, which I have loads of, right? Or millions and, bi millions and bajillions of bits of iron. So I take my iron and I use that to experiment with. 
and see if I can make a watering can. And then once I know how to make it, so I wonder what, I mean, my best guess would be that it would be all metal and no sticks, right? So I could try to, um, like, just one piece of metal, just two pieces of metal, just three pieces of metal, four pieces, five pieces. I could even start now, actually. Okay, so we've got six pieces from that, and I'll get another six bars from this. Okay. Go have a, a little experimento. I'll start with three, because that just seems like the most likely to me. Three or four. Oh yes, she was right on the first try. So I now have an iron watering can that I could maybe go and sell or something. So what I need to do is get enough gold to make myself another gold watering can. But I don't have any gold left at all. So you know what this means guys, mining trip. You guys got any food? No? Well, that's a bit disappointing, isn't it? Yeah. Happy Trist Fallen has been fed today. Yeah, I don't really know like what the deal is with the bee box. All I know is before I go mining, I need to clean my inventory very much out. So I need to keep my lentil soup because that's something I need to take with me. Camellia seeds I do not need to take with me. In fact, I could put camellia seeds on the other side as well. I'll do that before I go. The only thing I really need on me when I go up there will be my pickaxe. Now whether to take a spare iron pickaxe, I'm not really sure. I'll just go and sell that on the way. I probably should plant that. Take that lentil soup as well. Put away all the seeds. Oh, why don't we make some mushroom soup before we go? Because mushroom soup gives just about as much I only made one, I needed to make four. Terrible at cooking. There we are. Got mushroom soup and lentil soup. Chicken feed needs to stay there. Brush needs to stay there. All my spare stuff, really, my fishing rods and everything, just needs to stay here. So this is what you need to do for mining, just take nothing except your stamina stuff and your pickaxe and that will make things a lot easier. I'm going to sell that iron watering can, I can make another one if I need to. I'll stick that in my shipping box, along with my lentil soups, that'll be useful right? Lots of money for that. So really what I need to do to win the game apparently is to get 90% on the museum, although it never said that. Um, it's never really explicitly said that. The fact that it's saying about conservation status and like Jounce Corp and you lose the game if Jounce Corp take over. Hopefully that, it may have been a little subtle, but I, you know, I did get the idea that the museum was important. So that is the main thing, I think. 
Okay. I think I'm going to take myself a little snoozel. I didn't need to have a huge snoozel though. Oh, camellia seeds. I'll plant them and then I'll have a snoozel. In fact, I could just plant a couple of extra ones. No, I'm not going to do that because they're nearly ripe. And I'll want to plant them in nicely and make a nice bed full of them. So basically I've got camellia on one side, poncetia on the other, and then the kangaroo paw in the middle. Isn't that lovely? Make himself a lovely flower display. And now I can't water them because I put my watering can away. Hurrah, so I'll go grab the watering can. Water that one thing. It doesn't even have water in it either. I could do with getting myself more wells as well, just to speed things up a bit. Then I'll put them away with the, the remaining couple of camellia seeds. That isn't looking awful watered. There we are, that's better. Take a nap. And then go out to the mines. In fact, one thing I could do is take like a camellia and a gentian. Oh, why can't I just take one of something? Never works. And just see if they'll take those over at the museum because they're taking flowers, ores, gems, and it was something else, maybe fruits, I'm not sure. But I'll take I'll take a couple of flowers. I don't want to take too much or I'm going to be taking up all my space. But I do have more space nowadays because I paid for it. Let's see about maybe a six hour sleep. Lovely. Stamina's almost completely regenerated there, so that's pretty cool. I'm just going to head out. Oh, I need to check on my chickens first, don't I, apparently. They laid me one extra egg. They are sleeping. Okay, I'll leave you alone. That's fine. I'll leave you alone if you're sleeping. Let's be a rebel and jump the fence. This is the quickest way, I think. Until I get a horse. I'll have to see how the horse works. I'll be interested in that, actually. But, oh my goodness, why do I not have barley yet? I'm so upset about this. I need to know where to get it. It's one of the few things I'm really struggling for. I've got the sugar cane. I don't have things like rice, either. I just don't know where I'm going to find them. But I suppose that's all about exploring the game. The, the things that are so far a mystery to me... At the moment, a mystery to me is how to get barley and grains and things like that, and also how to how to get the uh, the better metals. So we'll see. I'm just going to the museum. It will cost me a hundred. I'm not too worried about that. It's fine. I don't do it often enough that it's uh, too bad. Um, it's six o five a.m. The museum will open in a couple of hours, so I'll, I'll go in for a little bit into the mine and then I will come out and I will uh, go and put my stuff into the museum. Hopefully I'll remember. But yeah, as I say, next time I play this, I won't, I won't be saving up for seeds in the springtime. I'll be like getting them from the gathering. Completely and utterly. Now the only thing I have to worry about a little bit down here is that my pickaxe may run out. So I probably won't be trying to break through to the next level or anything until I've made another one. So I'm just going to be trying to pick up as much gold as I can. And as many other metals, really. And uh, trying to get the... Oh, what's it called? The gem cutting polishing station. So I get as many gems as I can and try and ship them. And then hopefully I can buy that. Start making some good money off the gems I get. Probably, yeah. Down here, I'm going to get more copper. So I probably should try and get more stuff, but just for my stamina and the durability of my axe's sake, I should try and maybe run through. 
get the better stuff. But I get all the salt in here, so it's like... Ah. So, this was all copper, and then up here was where the original boulder was. I believe it was about here. So past here, it starts to get uh, better stuff like gold, you see. You'll still get salt. You'll get things like silver, gold, all these things like nickel, aluminium, tungsten. And I don't know what to do with all of those. I don't know if they become alloys. Ooh, I'm a bit stuck here. Okay, I made it out. Phew. So really, I think I more want to be trying to go for things like gold. Wait, there was some copper there, so I'll go for anything that looks kind of yellowy. Salt is always super useful. Silver isn't too bad. I mean, I can certainly make myself things like silver pickaxes and things like that. Which will last me a bit. Copper, nickel. More gold ore, fantastic. Two gold ore makes one gold bar. So I need six gold ore to make one gold watering can, which is what I want. So how many have I got so far? I do have six. So I can at least make my golden watering can. And that was one of the things I really wanted to do. There is nothing stopping me making silver tools and selling them if I want to have gold tools. Now then, let's eat some soup. There we are. Lovely. If I want to have gold tools, but I've picked up a lot of other metals, then I can just sell. That's fine. Now this over here looks like it could be some more gold. Ooh, this looks like the cave that has all the gems in it. Don't have to spend very long in here, but it's good to come in with an empty inventory as much as possible. Peridot. Just for all the gems, I was having to kind of leave things behind to pick up gems last time, and that really sucked. Porphyry. Aluminium. Salt. More mushrooms. That looks like maybe some more porphyry over there as well. Hello. So, so far in here I've had four, five, six gems. I need 30 to uh, get that gem cutting table. I can't remember how many I've shipped already. better pickaxe I'll maybe make myself if I can a golden pickaxe and once I've got that I won't be able to do it with today's haul especially if I want to make a watering can but that'll help me have a little go at the uh, the rock I'm getting way towards the end of my pickaxe here cobalt iron what are you Marine. That's like some more porphyry. Or oh, amber, okay. There's a rock further into the mines here as well. I will not be able to get that though. I'll be better off trying to get myself. Well, honestly, I'd be best off leaving the cave actually at this point and going back home. Um, does kind of suck a little bit. 
that uh, my pickaxe wasn't durable enough or I didn't make myself another one. I should have done that because I had plenty of uh, things to help me. So let's go to the museum anyway and give them the flowers I've got and see if they're any good. But there's also a zinnia outside. If I could even try and hand in. If you go and collect things around about this area, around the museum area and then try and hang them in. I don't know whether it's flowers, herbs, flowers and herbs and, and gems and ores, or gems, Ugh, I can't remember, I, it was in the last episode or two. But I imagine that that might be a display there for certain things I hand in, greenhouse thing. Let's have a look then, let's see. Okay, donate. Oh, I can donate salt. Two salt and gentian. Nice. But I wasn't able to donate anything else. So, do they go in the display cabinets then? So I should just come with an inventory full of stuff. I mean, I wonder what I can what I can say, uh, what I can chat about with Evan. Hello. Can I? Is there any way I can see what I've donated or what's missing? Polished agates. So once the gems start getting polished, we can start donating them. How are you doing? Fixing up a museum is a great workout. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, I'm so bad. I don't know what it is about recording and sneezing. Ugh. Ugh. Mix it with some structured exercise at home too. Oh, well, it'd be all arms and thighs. I see. This place is massive. Does it really need to be this big? Like, where did you put my salt and my flour? That I gave you. Is it in here somewhere? Goodness knows. It's certainly impressive. It certainly feels like a real museum, but... Uh... Golly gosh, is it huge. And like I say, nothing has really been uh, displayed in here, honestly. As far as I can see. Trying to have a look. Is there a way I can see the percentage of the museum donations or anything like that? Evan should give me more star scabiosa. Oh, it's fish as well. Columbine. Scylla. Passion flower. Oh, okay. Well, that's one thing. This is a flower garden look. So my blue gen gentian is now growing in the greenhouse. Well, that's nice to see. I'm going to go in this store and see if I can see a bit more of the museum and see if there's any of my salt in there, maybe. I didn't want any ores, but that doesn't mean it maybe doesn't want bars or something like that. Oh, look in here. There's a big fish tank. So if I come up here with some of the fish, this is like an aquarium area. More display cases here as well. It's ages to run around it though. Wow. So huge. So yeah, this is the aquarium, definitely. Maybe they needed the salt to make a salt water tank for the fish. I, that's what I'm going to assume. Yeah, so we've got a museum building. There's, there's like a top floor and everything this is crazy but i need to just go around and find as many flowers fish whatever as i can but the problem is i can't really tell how much progress i'm making in this museum so i'll just try and bring everything i can up here at some point i'll just bring a whole inventory full of flowers different ones like my kangaroo paw and stuff i might want some of that 
Right, I need to head home. Because I've got chickens to feed. But yeah, just uh, for the record, if any of you are wanting to save a bit of money, it's only five to get home from here, right? So what you would want to do is if you were really, really low on money, run to the museum, fast travel back. I like to use for fast travel as much as possible because I'm recording. Um, I'm now at the point where I can afford it, so I'm not going to make you guys put up with me running around. However, I may go running around to... Uh, I might do a run up to the museum so I can just pick up every little herb and flower and thing things on the way. So yeah, it's definitely fish. Um, and... Oh, okay. It's definitely fish and flowers. And gems. And then something else. But, because it doesn't seem, as long as I get one thing for it, well, I watered those, like, really recently. How dare they? How dare they try to imply that I didn't water them? I probably didn't water them. These trees are not doing well. However, they're still wilting, so they, they still are recoverable. That one over there. One of those two, wasn't it, that was wilting before, and that's fine now. So we'll just keep watering, it will be okay. Ah, oh, so you layabouts are up now, are you? I see how it is. I don't have my brush on me right now, okay? It's too late in the day to get any more livestock as well, but I do want to get some more livestock. open this and I want to get my watering can. Oh, I already did that. And my brush. Copper brush. I wonder whether a golden brush would give them more... Uh, might do. Would give them more love for me. Every day. Trish Hall is already at heart though, so they're getting, they're getting there really fast actually, I feel. Compared to some games where it's really slow. I wonder when the mushrooms will be ready. Or you can just plant them and that's it. Now let's have a look at the telly. Hey, we've got jam. And a basic dresser. Okay, lovely. I'm gonna have a bit of a sleep now. Hmm. All right, fine. I'll do. I'll do eight hours. Um. Probably at some point, I'll uh, I'll catch fish just for the museum. Well, like I say, I'm not really a hundred percent. Oh, these are ready. What are they? Poppies? No. Coffee! Ah. I've forgotten when coffee grows. I will make some coffee seeds out of some of these. Maybe nine coffee seeds. And then we'll see. Grow during summer. So after summer, we will have no coffee. So I'll make myself uh, nine seeds just to keep it till next summer and we'll have proper coffee harvests. Oh, hang on. Check the farm quota before I do more than 20 of them. 20 coffee. Let's just, yeah, let's get that done then. That gave me a nice bonus. Also ship my gems. Two, four, six, ten gems this time. That's definitely going to count for something, right? We've got like 24 salt as well.
Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking this is going quite well, to be honest. Other than the fact that none of my trees want to give me any fruit. Which I think is just a, a matter of patience, to be honest. Okay, and I may need to... I may need to water. I don't know. I don't know if it's... It seems quite... I may need to wait until 6 o'clock for that, though. The watering cycle still hasn't gone through. Also, I kind of need I want to get my spade, I think, and just tidy up all the bits where I don't want where I don't want uh farming plots. Just want to get this place a little bit neater. So I don't want those ones. I don't want any of these ones either. And then I want a barn and a horse and everything. There we are, this is much, much nicer. I'm also gonna take the well, and I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna move it. To somewhere around here, oops. Just because then I can have lots and lots of fields growing over here, and that'll be good. What's this then? Mint? Was I, was I clever enough to grow mint or something? Oh, vanilla! Right. Right, hee ho. And this was mint. So we'll just wait for the rest of the mint to grow, which is obviously this here, these two rows. And then this is watermelons at the back, I think. So all of the herbs can grow all year except for the winter. So things like vanilla, they're really good to grow because they're worth 20 each. And you get four off each plot. So that's 80 per plot. Which I think is pretty good. I will need to hoe that back in. So I'm going to want another nine out of it. Nine seeds back just to keep it going. And then everything else will get sold. Well, five coffee seeds again, that'll need to be kept until next year. We'll sell the vanilla. Because I can always grow some more. Right, so I probably got money, like loads of money due to me in the mail. So maybe we should actually go and check the mailbox. Oh, and we'll have another TV watch ready. No, I can't wait to be making things like bread and stuff like that. A titanium shovel. Nice. <laughs> I just said I wanted to make bread. Two dough. I don't know how to make dough though. Interestingly. Right, so next let's do some watering. You know what? No, I'm going to make a new watering can first and then water everything because at the moment... Okay, let's get rid of that. Lovely. So yeah, at the moment I've got all this, um, like, this watering can that I can sell. Okay. Oh, what? I don't have enough gold to make a new one. Right. Um. <sighs> that's, that's really horrible. So it's four to make a gold bar. Ouch.
steel, titanium, gold, diamond, copper. All these things are like aluminium. I don't know what I'm doing with those. Let's go see if there's any, any gold in here at all. with a lot of choice here. Popular metal for construction. Aluminium. Info. Soft and useful. Tungsten. Heavy and brittle. Silver is the most conductive. Aluminium is they're worth more. Oh, I just don't know. Why will those two silver not stack with each other? That's random. Um, I have to go back to the mines. I just have to now. No choice. Just none of this stuff will stack, it's super annoying. Well, the eggs only stack to four. Come on, oh wow. Okay, I'm gonna just stop this. I'm gonna go and get my money. I'm not even gonna harvest the black beans. No, I'm not, that's not gonna happen. But wow, yeah, that's super annoying. Three gold for a watering can. Which means 12 pieces of ore. So I know that now. It's fine. I don't think I could have done much more in the mine yesterday, though. Not with the pickaxe I had. I'm going to see if I've got any money. I may need to buy tools off Clara. Or just go make myself a silver pickaxe or something. And then go to the mines with it and see if I can get gold with it. I've got things to give me stamina. And see if I can get back in time to water. I only need four more pieces of gold. And then I'll be able to make the watering can. Okay, 700. 400 for the watermelon task. 2,000. And 196. And the coffee quota. And now I am really rich. Yay! 4,000. I can afford a tool, I guess. But then part of me is like, no, no, I'm not gonna do that. No, what I actually want is more backpacks. I want to get a big backpack off Duante. And a cow. But mostly a big backpack. So I can go get loads of stuff in the mines. What, you have the windmill? Okay. So with that, I can make sugar cane into sugar once I get enough money to buy it. However, I wanna buy a big backpack and I wanna see how that does. Cause I do, cause that'll help me so much. There you go. That's the sort of inventory I need. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. Absolutely worth it. I still have 2,400, which is actually enough if I wanted to buy myself a second chest. Or, well, not the storage shed. I don't know how much storage a storage shed gives you. At some point, I will buy it just so that you guys can see what it is. It's worth the same as two storage crates. But I will buy another storage crate as well. I also want to move buildings. 
Because I'm getting really, really fed up. With the wonkiness of my house. I don't know what I said yes to there, and I'm hoping it's not anything bad. There's my door, okay. So what I want to do is just have this... <sighs> I don't know if there was a backwards rotate. There we are, that's better. Anything else that we can do, Dante? No, I can't build anything. It's not like there's anything that I would want to build either though. It's a barn, a coop, and that's pretty much it at the moment. there's plenty to do. Right, so we're going to go back to my house. <sighs> it's getting on as well now. However, the crops won't wilt for a day. One day without won't, won't kill them, I don't think, so... As long as I get back before the 24 hours is up since I last watered them, I think I'll be alright. Then I need to make myself the highest quality pickaxe I can with the ore I've got. Which I think is a silver one. You then use that silver one to go get as much gold as I can. Nothing is watered right now. Those need to be harvested as well. Oh my goodness. But even the, the fast travel up to the mine is going to cost less. Zinc, iron. I'm probably just going to have a chest just for my ores. That's why I was, what I was kind of thinking with that. Um... Mm. All my silver, basically. Silver. That silver. That silver. That steel, tungsten, aluminium, iron, aluminium, cobalt, aluminium. They won't stack for that. Will they stack if they're in my inventory? Is it maybe you just can't stack straight into a chest? That's exactly what it is. Got aluminium, tungsten, and steel, and iron. nickel. I think that's all of them then. Yeah. I'm keeping the silver and the silver's going to get smelted. The rest is going back. We need to be able to stack straight into a chest. That's ridiculous. You can't do that. I'm completely daft. Oh, I see. It was going to move the, the chests and boxes and things alongside my house with the house. Well, that's actually really handy and useful. I'll pop the other box there. That looks good. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is smelt up this silver. And I'm going to want about six bars of it. Hopefully I have enough for that. Actually, it might even be four bars. And then I need some planks as well. I 
felt like I knew what I was doing and then all of a sudden it was like, no you don't, ha ha ha. So I want to get myself a pickaxe, a silver one. Oh, I do need, oh I have four, apparently, okay, fine. There you are, nice silver pickaxe. So I'll throw my other one into the box on the way out just to make some, yeah. I'm not gonna plant the vanilla, seed, vanilla seeds today. All of those weren't needed. Already given salts to the museum as well. Let's chuck it all in, chuck it all in there. So I need a third gold bar basically. My inventory is massive now, so I shouldn't run out of space like I was running out of it before, which was really annoying. There's eggs there to collect as well. So I clearly had happy chickens. Have I even fed them? No. Oh, too many responsibilities. Oh gosh. enough apparently let me get my stuff how dare you oh the patarots what if they die everything's looking so wilty oh gosh maybe I need to just risk it gone back a stage I can't afford that oh no Oof. this is bad news bears because we're getting too far through the year for losing days to not watering especially with the pineapples I think it will survive just long enough though. If I don't get the pineapple commission, it's not the end of the world. Just slightly annoying. I mean, the watering can did have enough durability in the end to water basically the entire farm, so. I didn't actually need to be panicking as much as I was. Oh, good grief. There's bees around this honey. No honey yet, but we have actually attracted bees. Now I might need to be careful. It might need to have grown flowers around it, maybe. I may need to leave them rather than... so that I can get the honey. Mm, we'll have to see about that. Okay, I feel a little bit better now that everything is is not gonna like completely die on me. So I think I'm gonna end the episode here. <laughs> can't wait to go into the mines proper and really get really dig in there and really get, get loads of gold get a gold pickaxe get through all of those rocks and everything oh I need to take a little picture of myself maybe it did need to be next to flowers that were ready to harvest look at me in my beehive with bees in it frolicking in the flowers so i hope you enjoyed the episode and if you did then please do leave me a like below and if you'd like to see more pumpkin days then please subscribe i'll let you know when the videos are out i hope to see you next time in the meantime though please look after yourselves and keep being awesome